In this Malaysia vlog, we explore the durian capital of Malaysia, the town of Raub. We share our experience in this historical town, including travel to Raub, some of the local restaurants, as well as where to stay and what to do. We started our trip to Raub, Malaysia on a one hour bus ride from Kuala Lipis. We've really enjoyed all of our bus rides throughout Malaysia. It's a comfortable and cheap way to see the country. This bus is pretty modern and comfortable. Uh, it's got reclining seats, which is really nice. It's only 5 ringgit 40 to get us from Kuala Lipis to Raul. There's usually a bus from Raub to Cameron Highlands, but unfortunately at the moment the road's being upgraded, uh, so there is no bus. So that probably means for us we won't go to the Cameron Highlands this trip. Raub is a town in the Malaysian state of Pahang and is around a two hour drive from Kuala Lumpur. It first became internationally famous in the late 19th century as a gold mining district. The name Raub means scoop or handful, as it was said that in every tray of sand dug had a handful of gold in it. After mining ceased in the area in the 1960s, Raub reinvented itself as the durian capital of Malaysia. It's now a popular destination with local tourists, Chinese and Singaporeans, keen to sample the king of fruits. Raub is famous for its durians. Now unfortunately for us we're here in August and durian season hasn't started yet. We've been told it starts next month. So if you're here in durian season make sure you give that a try. Kopi Tiams are a great place to come for cheap fast food in Malaysia and they usually serve really nice hearty dishes. We're at Raub Kokitiam and we have got a couple of dishes that are very typical in Malaysia. So we've got a mi curry, which is six ringgit. We've got a chicken chop with rice. And then we've got what they recommended here, which is their roti and kasa. Um, and it's the special one, so it comes with chocolate sauce, which looks really good. So let's start with the chicken chop. So it's a breaded and fried piece of chicken and we've got the black pepper one so it comes in a black pepper sauce. It's really good. Mm. 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 That black pepper sauce is really nice, really peppery and it tastes like there's a bit of vinegar base to it as well. That's really good. And then we've got the curry meat. So mee curry is one of my favourite dishes in Malaysia. So it comes in a thick curry broth and then it's got like the Hokkien style noodles and then there's fish balls, there's an egg, there's some tofu in there. Mm. That is delicious. Okay, now for that roti and kasa. So it's got a massive slice of butter in there and then the chocolate as well and the bread's really nice and light and fluffy. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that is a really nice sweet treat to round it all off. So the food here, it came out quickly, the service was really efficient, the food's delicious and it's a great fast food treat in Malaysia. Dinner in Rao is at a Thai restaurant. So I believe this restaurant's called Ariera Tom Yum. And we've got a hearty beef soup. So I've been feeling a little bit under the weather in the last day or so. So a hearty beef soup is exactly what I need. So let's look at this. So there's plenty of veggies in here. I see tomato, I see cauliflower, there's onion. And of course, there's the dagging, the beef. I'll try some of the soup broth to begin with. Oh, that's, that's 
physically hot. It's very warm. Mm. So the soup broth is quite hearty. It's a bit salty. It's not spicy, which is good. My poor old stomach's had a little bit too much spice lately, so having a break from that is certainly a good option. Altogether, a nutritious dish and exactly what I'm looking for. We're at Kopilop Restaurant in Raub, and they serve a variety of Western food as well as Malaysian food. So we've gone with their grilled chicken burger. This looks really, really appetizing. And we've also gone with their Hokkaido milk tea. So they had this big range of different drinks that you could get. And I'm going to try the milk tea first. I'm guessing it's a matcha taste. Yeah, so if you like your matcha tea, and your, your green tea, matcha tea flavour, then you're going to love this. So it's quite sweet, it's quite milky, and there is a very strong matcha taste to it. Time for the burger. Mm. This is a really nice chicken burger. So the chicken is really juicy and tender, and it's grilled on the outside. And I think there's a bit of a marinade or something in there as well, which makes it taste really nice. So I think this is a really good choice. One restaurant that was popular with locals was Kapitiam Malaya. It had a good range of both Malaysian and Western food on the menu. It was more expensive than other Malaysian restaurants that we visited. They had a 10% service charge, which is something we haven't seen elsewhere in Malaysia. religious buildings of different religions um, right in close proximity in Rao and we're just outside the Taoist Buddhist building now. So this was built in 1908 and unfortunately a couple of years ago there was a fire from an oil lamp and the inside got gutted. So we can see inside they're currently reconstructed. So the entire inside looks really gutted. They've got some materials from China that they've been shipping in. They've had delays because of COVID, so they haven't been able to reconstruct it for the last two years. But by the end of the year, it should all be redone. So we've got photos of what it was like before, it looked beautiful. And the guy that we spoke to here, he's been here in this building for 40 years. and. So he had a lot of information to share about this place, which was really kind of him to share his information. It looks like they've got some beautiful murals that are being painted at the moment, so it would be nice to see it when it's all complete. Next door to the Taoist temple is a Hindu temple. It is typical in Malaysia to see temples of different faiths sitting side by side. In fact, Malaysia is constitutionally a secular country with religious freedom with Islam acknowledged as the main religion for the Federation. We've come across this really cool cafe in Raul. It's called Snow Time. It's a Korean dessert restaurant. So uh, you can get amazing desserts like this. So we've got an Oreo snow. How good does this look? Wow. So you've got Oreo biscuit all around the outside. So, and all this snow on the inside. I think it's milk ice. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to find out very shortly. Yeah, I think it's a milk ice. Oh, it's so nice. And there's chocolate sauce all the way through it as well. So the ice has a chocolate milk taste to it. It's so soft and sweet. And to top it off, we have some vanilla ice cream as well. Oh, this is such an awesome, decadent little treat. And oh, we were just talking to a lady who was, who was just eating here, just another client, and she ended up paying for our, our dessert for us. And we didn't realise that until uh, she'd got, gotten up to leave. And we, we went to order, make our order, and the order had already been made for us. So, uh, Auntie, if you're out there, thank you so much. It was so sweet of you. And 
we're really going to enjoy this dessert. We stayed at the Hotel Raub since 1968 and we're really happy with our choice. It's a non-smoking hotel, the staff were really friendly and our room was spacious and comfortable. We paid 92 ringgit per night for our room. We also liked that it was in a convenient location and walking distance to the main part of town as well as the bus station. After a couple of pleasant days resting up in Raub, we were off to Kuala Lumpur. We have our tickets to Kuala Lumpur. It goes to Pekalaling Station, which is to the north of the city. Tickets were 980 ringgit each, and you can just get it at the counter behind me. There are six buses a day. They go from 9 a.m. in the morning until 7.30 p.m. at night. We hope you enjoyed our Raub vlog. If you liked it, click that like button and let us know what you thought by leaving a comment. If you want more Malaysian content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button to follow us on our bucket list adventures around Malaysia.